In this tutorial, I will try to explain you a command called array, which is here. So basically, all you need to know is this those three comments. I'll just show you how to do it because these three are pretty the same, but they are only objects placed on the surfaces, so you will be alright to play with it by yourself. I will explain how to do it with this. So let's array. Let's build some some rectangle, some box no. from zero point and gonna be 20, 20, 20 size. Let's shade it. It's good to know uh, the size because uh, in a minute you will use it to m to declare the gaps between all the objects. So let's start with the first one. So this is the one, a rectangular array. So first, if you don't know what to do, you have to read the r the white bottom uh, top uh, bar. Select objects, press enter and look, number in the x direction, which is that direction, which is that direction, yeah? Uh, I want to have it, for example, 15. And then in Y direction, I want to have it 20. Yeah, you type it here. And and Z axis, well, I can have a 5, which is this axis top. And then I you can specify each uh, axis uh, cell spacing. But you can also do it uh, by just pressing and and doing a kind of uh, drag and drop size. Look, and now it's work like this. And if, and if you're happy, you have to press enter. So this is how it works. It's not complicated, uh, and it looks quite nice. Uh, I really. Uh, very often recommend uh, students, my students, to play with this comment to do graphic design or communication design, which is, as you can see right now, very, uh, very cool and effective. If you just make a screenshot or uh, do something like this. All right. So this was first comment. Um, I will show with this same comment again to specify. Uh, the gaps between so look the same 15 20 times and 5 times in that axis and now, uh, now I have to specify unit cell for x spacing let's go let it be uh, let it be 30 then 30 then 30 and this is every uh, gap cell is 30 millimeters so it's more precisely. All right. So let's play with uh, another comment, which is polar array. That one. So I could have the same, actually the same uh, box. Now we need to set up in top view. And let's just move the move the smooth somewhere the box, because I like to use the center uh, zero point as a center. Let's play the comment polar array. I prefer to use a zero point as an axis. A number of items, let it be 30 or 20, whatever. And then you just can pre uh, declare the angle. So I declare 360 uh, full circle. And you can see on the perspective, I have to accept by pressing right button mouse or enter by the on the keyboard. I have to now you see what is a polar array. This is quite effective too. So I like this uh comment uh, I'm using very often. Uh, so now we need to show the last uh, array comment which is uh, array along path, I guess. Yes, so this is quite simple. You have to have object and you have to have a the carve which you'll use to uh, 
uh, to array on so that's quite mm, uh, important thing so let's uh, let's do it so I will do first select object array enter then select path curve and then number of items you can choose number of items or you can choose distance between them to fill this mm, uh, this curve you will see let it be two so this is quite lots of them because this is just two millimeters my box is 20 so let's do 30 oh. let's do 30 and this is uh, mm, this is effect of my work uh, and uh, if you look right now I will do the same thing I will just copy my mm, my my two uh, objects and do the same with a different configuration so you'll see return and now I'm gonna choose the object and path object and path and now I'm going to no rotation and also let's let it be 30 you see difference uh, I've been using this to make a patterns for um, let organize uh, concept in uh, lamps so that was quite quite useful for this and uh, basically the last I will show the last Mm, what you can use for which is actually no rotation in number of items so this is quite quite pretty the same to freeform but okay number of items let it be 30 all right and this cop uh, and it doesn't care about the space just copy using the the number amount of uh, objects so okay i think this is it i hope you'll use it this tutorial uh, for your proposals thank you very much